Paul Rubens was an American actor and comedian, widely known for creating and portraying the character Pee Wee Herman. Rubens joined the Los Angeles troupe The Groundlings in the 1970s and started his career as an improvisational comedian and stage actor. Born, August 27, 1952, Peekskill, New York, United States. Died, July 30, 2023, age 70 years, Cedars Sinai Medical Center, Los Angeles, California, United States. Parentes, Milton Rubenfeld, Judy Rubenfeld. Siblings, Abby Rubenfeld, Luke Rubenfeld. Education, Boston University, California Institute of the Arts, BFA. Paul Rubens' net worth $5 million. Paul To contact please check my YouTube video description and visit my website. Life and Education Rubens as a high school senior, 1970. Rubens was born Paul Rubenfeld in Peekskill, New York, on August 27, 1952, and grew up in a Jewish family in Sarasota, Florida, where his parents, Judy, Rosen, and Milton Rubenfeld, owned a lamp store. His mother was a teacher. His father was an automobile salesperson who had flown for Britain's Royal Air Force and for the U.S. Army Air Forces in World War II, and later became one of the founding pilots of the Israeli Air Force during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. An Orthodox Jew, he was one of five Jewish pilots to fly against Arab forces in smuggled fighter planes. Rubens's two younger siblings are Luke, born 1958, who is a dog trainer, and Abby, born 1953, who is an attorney and a board member of the American Civil Liberties Union of Tennessee. Rubens spent much of his childhood in Oneonta, New York. As a child, he frequented the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, whose winter headquarters were in Sarasota. The circus atmosphere sparked Rubens's interest in entertainment and influenced his later work. He also loved to watch reruns of I Love Lucy, which made him want to make people laugh. At age five, Rubens asked his father to build him a stage, where he and his siblings would act out plays. Rubens attended Sarasota High School, where he was named president of the National Thespian Society. He was accepted into Northwestern University's summer program for gifted high school students, joined the local Asolo Theater, Players of Sarasota Theater, and appeared in several plays. After high school graduation, he attended Plymouth State University for one semester, before attending Boston University, after which he began auditioning for acting schools. He was turned down by several schools, including the Juilliard School and twice by Carnegie Mellon University, before being accepted to the California Institute of the Arts. Rubens moved to California, where he worked in restaurant kitchens and as a fuller brush salesman. Personal Life in addition to his 1991 arrest, Herman was arrested in 1971 for loitering and prowling, charges were dropped. In 1983, he was placed on probation for two years due to possession of marijuana. And, in 2002, he was arrested and charged with possession of obscene material improperly depicting a child under the age of 18 in sexual conduct. He maintained his innocence, saying that the alleged materials discovered in his home were, instead, part of his vintage erotica collection. Career 1977 to 1979, Comedy Beginnings In the 1970s, Rubens began performing at local comedy clubs and, starting in 1977, made 14 guest appearances on The Gong Show, four of which is part of a boy-girl act he had developed with Charlotte McGuinness, called The Hilarious Betty and Eddie. He soon joined the Los Angeles-based improvisational comedy team The Groundlings. He remained a troupe member for six years, working with Bob McClurg, John Paragon, Susan Barnes, and Phil Hartman. Hartman and Rubens became friends and often wrote and worked on material together. In 1980, Rubens had a small part as a waiter in the Blues Brothers. The character of the Pee Wee Herman originated during a 1978 improvisation exercise with the Groundlings, where Rubens came up with the idea of a man who wanted to be a comic but was so inept at telling jokes that it was obvious to the audience that he would never make it. Fellow Groundling Phil Hartman afterwards helped Rubens develop the character while another Groundling, John Paragon, helped write the show. Despite being compared to other famous characters, such as Herges Tintin and Collodi's Pinocchio, Rubens said that there was no specific source for the Peewee other than a collection of ideas. Peewee's voice originated in 1970 when Rubens appeared in a production of Life with Father, where he was cast as one of the most obnoxious characters in the play. For this role, Rubens adopted a cartoon-like way of speaking whose voice became Peewee's. Pee-wee's first name came from a one-inch Pee-wee brand harmonica Rubens had as a child, and the surname Herman was the last name of an energetic boy Rubens knew from his youth. 
The first small gray suit Pee Wee always wore had been handmade for Groundlings director and founder Gary Austin, who passed it on to Rubens. The origin of the red tie is less clear, as Rubens claimed that a someone handed him the little kid bow tie before a performance. 